how things have moved on since we walked in in Austria. Um, today we're going to be walking in the Austrian, oh, it's gorgeous, it really is beautiful, up in the mountains in the Alps of Austria and uh, I'm sorry it's a bit windy <laughs> and I think this is the last of the videos, the next video after this get the quality gets a bit better of what, I don't know whether I just got a, a little bit better with the camera or what but um, yeah I think you're going to love this place. If there's any chance you can go hiking in Austria in your life just do it it's it's, it's absolutely beautiful. it's gorgeous isn't it, is it lovely we would have stayed longer i reckon but it was getting a bit cold yeah i think we were worried about getting snowed in <laughs> and we were dressed so badly i mean i, I think i had I'm... a new jumper thank you very much in this one <laughs> <laughs> you did but it was the only jumper you had it was probably the only jumper that we we had on the whole journey um we arrived in austria in flip-flops thongs as we call them in australia uh, and uh, we were just wearing layers upon layers so <laughs> we were just wearing everything absolutely our <laughs> whole suitcase was was being put on most days so we did decide to start heading a little further south but anyway kick back and enjoy this beautiful scenery of Austria and let me know what you think okay Michelle and I are possibly the most inappropriate Alpen wanderers that you've ever come across we've come to the Alps here in Austria just on route through to Italy and we have no winter clothing everybody in here has lovely fleecy jackets on they're all wearing sort of north face and we've got well up until a couple of days ago Michelle had only some uh, little thin trousers but now she's at least got a we managed to pick up a, a thicker jumper and some trousers and we only had flip-flops and loose sort of deck shoes so we're not best geared for this colder weather but I promise you after the uh, walk yesterday that we take you for the route uh, Michelle has got the GoPro set up she's going to take some uh, walking footage and occasionally if I see something I'll have a little chat with you en route Just follow the road The blood in your veins like a track for the trains The heart always aims for the place quite um, sunny today although when you go into the shade it's quite cold I should think it's probably around about five or six degrees I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit take a look at that sometimes you just need to stop searching and stand up and go just follow the road A bird take flight in the sky with no map and no compass for thousands of miles and just glide through the air on a wing and a prayer till the day he finally arrives. At last, we're in the sun warm up a little bit there's a couple of cyclists coming up the path here they come hello That was nice, that's a family of four out cycling. Uh, they're taking, this is fantastic cycling uh, routes actually here. Look at what we're coming up to. So yes, the, the greeting is Grüß Gott. Uh, it's what they say when you go in the shops. And uh, it's the same here when you say goodbye. Generally, the informal way is Tschüss, which is like cheers or bye. <laughs> Once you get into the sun, it's actually quite pleasant. 
don't know if you can see the snow top, the snow on the top of those mountains. Uh, the other day it was just a little bit light. It's uh, had a bit of snow last night and it's a little bit deeper. We did wonder because we're staying here initially just a couple of nights but we decided to stay on for about a, four or five nights and um, it was only this morning when we woke up and saw the car was covered in snow that we thought oh you know coming up the mountain there's lots of signs saying don't forget to have chains on your tires and I thought we could actually get stuck up here and not able to get back down in which case we'd have to stay longer but uh, I just think it's still a little bit too early in the year to be stuck in in heavy snow but you never do know it's absolutely stunning up here the air is fresh I suspect the altitude is quite high it's a little bit thin but it's absolutely stunning and gorgeous it's something I really love I've always loved about mountains look at this Sehr schön. Now while Michelle's walking up ahead there, I'll tell you when we actually arrived in Austria, she had some little flimsy uh, Caribbean trousers, pants as the Americans call them, um, and a few t-shirts. And the first few days we were here, Michelle was freezing every time we came out and the wind just cut through. So we managed to get down down the mountains to some shopping centers and picked her up some proper trousers and that really beautiful woolen uh, jumper which was on sale for three 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 euros would you believe it it looks great on her it's a utilitarian um, woolly jumper but there's more than three euros worth of wool in it. So uh, that was a really good find. It also means that if we end up having to travel and we need to be light again, we could leave it behind and it wouldn't be a great deal of wasted money. Morning horses. The horses grazing. There must be hardy stock up here when the winters come. Look, there is our mountain that we see out of the window of the uh, chalet where we're staying. Now we just found this chalet online. Uh, it's a reasonable price and it is gorgeous. The lady keeps it spick and span and beautiful. Uh, we've got a nice two or three rooms, our own hot water, lovely shower, a uh, little kitchenette. Uh, it's working out about, about 50 euros a day. So quite good value. But look at the views we get. Just follow the road. The blood in your veins like a track for the trains. The heart always aims for the place where you Trailer hitch there, 
And that's some sort of wheel axle. There's some sort of uh, tightening winch or adjusting winch there. There's actually something hidden in there. And just next to me is that big um, apparatus, I don't know what you want to call it, that Michelle was climbing up the other day. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Now one thing I have noticed in Austria, everywhere looks so well kept. It's as if all of the mountains have been trimmed and manicured. It's so beautiful. And this little walkway we are, we're on now has signposts up telling you uh, different walks. There's a six kilometer, 25 kilometer walk. It's obviously uh, perfect. And en route, there are these little activities, little exercise areas where you can do a little bit of climbing, a little bit of exercise. <sighs> if you need any more exercise than the walk, that is. Can you miss what you never have known and can you ache for a place that was never your home no misgivings or shame like a moth to the flame to burn up or fizzle alone can you know who inhabits your skin can you trust that you won't blow away in the wind? Do you tether your hopes or let go of the ropes? In the hope that you someday descend. Just follow. Stop searching and stand up and go. Just follow the road. Can a bird take flight in the sky with no map and no compass for thousands of miles? And just glide through the air On a wing and a prayer Till the day he finally arrives When the rain comes out of the clouds It makes no decision To fall to the ground Fate was ordained when the time came to rain. There's nowhere to go now but down. Just follow. Stop searching and stand up and go Just follow the road
exist unexpressed With no way to show it to you in the flesh If you follow the road till it leads you back home You'll find that the answer is yes So there we are back. I hope you enjoyed that little look around where we're staying. And as I say, it is beautiful. I just thought I'd take you out today. We've only got uh, one or two more days left. Then we're heading for the sun. So share the love, give this the thumbs up, and I'll see you later. That's our little room, by the way. Be good. We hope you enjoyed that look around Austria. So for Michelle and I here in Australia, not Austria, <laughs> Get yourself over there. Honestly, it's one of the most beautiful, beautiful countries it is. In the next video, we'll be leaving Austria, but we'll be having a last little fling before we go. So look out for that video, and we'll see you in the next video. Take Bye. care.